Hello and welcome back to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you to make a very simple audio amplification circuit with using an IRF Z44 in channel MOSFET. Let's get started. <laughs> So the items that you're going to need to make for this project, the items you're going to need, some alligator clips, a breadboard, jumper wires, an auxiliary jack, a 3 watt 8 ohm speaker, a 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a 10k ohm resistor, and a 10k ohm potentiometer, and of course you're going to need the IRFC44 MOSFET be able to make this audio amplification circuit. And this right here is a schematic that you're going to need to follow for this circuit. Now, let's go into the Simulus project and let's get started. First, I'm going to take the MOSFET and place it into the breadboard. Next, I'm going to take a 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. This pin's negative, this pin's positive, and I want to connect the positive pin over to the gate of the MOSFET. And then put the negative on a free rail. Next, I want to take a 10 ohm resistor, and I want to connect one pin over to the gate, and the other pin to the drain. Next, I'm going to take a 10 ohm potentiometer and connect it to the opposite side of the breadboard. Next, I'm going to take a jumper wire and I want to connect one of the pins of the potentiometer and then connect the other end of the jumper cable to the center pin of the MOSFET, which is the drain. Next, I'm going to take another jumper cable and connect it to the center pin of the potentiometer. And then leave the other end of the jumper cable loose because that will connect to the negative of the speaker. Next, I'm going to take an alligator clip and connect it to the loose end of the jumper cable. And now take the speaker and connect it to one of the pins, although polarity doesn't matter, but I'm going to connect it to the negative. Next, I'm going to take an alligator clip and then connect it to the second pin of the speaker. And with that same alligator clip, I'm going to connect to the positive of my lap bench power supply. Next, I'm going to take a jumper wire and connect it to the negative of the lap bench power supply and then take that negative input and connect it to the negative rail of the breadboard. Next, I'm going to take another jumper cable and connect it to the negative rail, and then connect that to the source of the MOSFET, which will then cause the MOSFET to be grounded. Next, I'm going to take a jumper cable and connect that to the negative of the electrolytic capacitor. and then connect that to the positive connection of the audio jack. Although, then again, polarity doesn't matter. Next, I'm going to take another alligator clip and connect it to the negative of the audio jack. And then the opposite end of the alligator clip will connect to a jumper wire, which will connect to the negative rail of the breadboard. And turn on the lap bench power supply and turn the knob to 5 volts. And now let's go ahead and test it out.
All right, let's try that again. Tensiometer turn anti-clockwise to maximum. And now clockwise. And there you have it, a simple audio amplification circuit with using a single MOSFET, a 10k ohm resistor, 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and a 10k ohm potentiometer. A very simple audio amplification circuit with using just a few simple components. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified of future SciTech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.